mic check, mic check. Listen, welcome to 8824. If you know, you know the day of abundance. Uh, but also welcome to Throwback Thursday on Hip Hoponomics. And uh, today we're breaking down the latest in financial news. Um, and then we're going to take you back to a historic business deal that literally changed the game. Um, and that's what we do on, thir uh, on Throwback Thursdays uh, for Hip Hoponomics with Ash Cash. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, tell a friend to tell a friend. This is the number one space for financial education. Uh, first, let's talk about the markets. Stocks are still uh, on a roller coaster. Uh, the NASDAQ dropped 1.05%. Uh, the S&P 500 fell 0 .07, or 0.77%. And the Dow slipped 0.60%. Uh, Bitcoin also took a hit. Uh, it's down 2.02%. Uh, but the, what's the real story? The real story is Airbnb. Uh, they plunged 13.38% after reporting less demand for U.S. travelers. Um, this looks like uh, people are actually thinking twice about those vacation uh, rentals with a five-page uh, cleaning checklist. Uh, you know, and and I think seriously, when you think about Airbnb, uh, a lot of people are you know price conscious, but they're not probably not traveling um, as much as, as they used to. Um, and so, what's the deal with U.S. consumers? Um, it's really, really complicated. It's really, really complicated. Excuse me. Uh, fast food chains are crying broke, uh, saying folks are too stretched to buy their burgers. Uh, but then you've got companies like um, Shopify and uh, Carnival uh, Cruising, pun intended, with uh, stellar quarter two reports. Um, and here's the thing, right? People are still spending money, but the truth of the matter is that they're being smart about it, right? They're not just spending just to spend. They're being smart about it. Um, they're looking for value, not just the lowest price. Um, and it's not about the dollar menu anymore. Uh, it's about getting the most bang for your buck. And so, um, you know, it's really about, about that val value. Um, in political uh, news or political money moves, uh, we have the Minnesota governor, Tim Walz, who is uh, Kamala Harris's uh, new running mate. Um, and he's showing that he's just like us. He's just like us. <laughs> no, I'm just like, um, at least uh, financially. Right. Um, you know, you know, I was reading on on Forbes. Um, and it talks about um, his net worth being estimated uh, to just be over $1 million, uh, making him the least wealthy politician on a major party ticket uh, this election cycle. Um, and so, you know, no fancy real estate, no stock portfolio, uh, just a regular smegular dude uh, with a with, you know, with a bank account not too far off. Um, of the, you know, from the average um, American his age. I don't know if that's particularly a good or a bad thing because when you think about policies and things of that nature, um, you know, you know, do they know how to manage money, right? Does he know how to manage money? So let me know your comments um, on the, you know, it, you know, it, let me know in the comments. Um, but let's talk about side hustles, right? Uh, T-Pain just dropped a bombshell. He said that he he makes about fifty thousand to sixty thousand dollars an hour playing video games from home. But that's not even it. He says that he's on the low tier. He's on a low tier because apparently T Grizzly is out here making millions of dollars a month from his Grand Theft Auto Five. Role playing server. <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> Listen, the lesson here, man, in 2024, your playlist might not be as valuable as your game list. I don't know, yo, I don't know if you understand it. My man's making millions of dollars playing games. That's that's on another level. Um, uh, and streaming news, uh, Disney Plus finally turned to profit uh, a quarter earlier than expected. 
Um, but their theme parks uh, aren't feeling the same love. They're not feeling the same magic. They have, uh, you know, weaker than expected revenues. Uh, meanwhile, um, there's uh, good news for home buyers. Uh, I know a lot of people were sitting out, you know, waiting for rates to go up um, or, or come down. Well, so mortgage rates are coming down. Um, the 30 year fixed rate fell uh, to 6.55% last week. Um, and that's the lowest it's been uh, since May of 2023. Um, and so if you're eyeing, you know, some, some property, uh, you know, I don't know if you want to wait, but it might be a good time. Uh, lastly, Elon Musk is stirring up drama on multiple fronts. Um, he's beefing with, uh, first he's beefing with the, the, the British prime, prime minister. Um, he's suing advertisers and he's taking on uh, AI. So never, never a dull moment uh, with, with M M Mr. Mr. Elon Musk. Um, I bet. So now let's take it back. Pause. Let's take it back to throw back Thursday. Um, today we are looking at um, a historic business deal that really um, changed the game of hip hop. Um, if, if you know, you know, I am a Jay-Z fan. Um, and so I wrote a book called, uh, you know, you know, the wake up call that broke down the 444, um, album, but let's talk about Jay-Z's, uh, iconic deal in 2008 with, with, uh, live nation, right? Uh, back in 2008, uh, Jay-Z signed a 10 year, $150 million contract, uh, with live nation. Uh, this wasn't just your, um, average, uh, record deal. Uh, this is what they called a 360 deal, right? And so 360 deals was covering, you know, covering touring, recording, and uh, merchandising. Um, it also included financing for his entertainment venture, Rock Nation, right? And so that really set the stage for, uh, uh, you know, a lot of what we see um, here today. Um, and so why was this particular deal um, so significant? Um, number one, because of scale. Um, at $150 million, it was one of uh, the most lucrative deals in hip-hop history at the time, right? Number two, um, the significance, it, it was about diversification, right? It wasn't just about music. Um, it covered all, you know, multiple revenue streams and 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 it helped diversify his portfolio um and his wealth number three which is important was ownership right the deal allowed jay-z to retain ownership of his master recordings number four it was about entrepreneurship um it really provided capital um for jay-z to build his own entertainment company. And so when you think about this deal, it was about strategic partnerships and, you know, helping him, you know, giving him the funds, right? Almost like the bank and allowing him to be who he is right now, which is a billionaire. Um, and so what can we learn, right? What can we learn from this, this throwback deal? Um, you know, number one, you got to think beyond music, right? Jay-Z understands that real wealth, right? Real wealth in music, in, in the music industry, comes from more than just record sales. Um, number two, uh, you got to retain ownership, right? Until you own your own, you can't be free. Jay-Z line, if you know, you know. By keeping his masters, you know, Jay-Z ensured long-term value from his work. Number three, leverage your brand, right? Leverage your brand. Uh, Jay-Z used his success as an artist to secure a deal that, you know, covered multiple aspects of his brand. Um, number four, build for the future. The deal wasn't just um, about immediate gains, right? Because a lot of, a lot of people just think for today, but, you know, it set Jay-Z up to build his own empire with Rock Nation, which now is not just about him. It's about, you know, a, a lot of major artists and sports figures uh, in, in, in the industry. 
Um, negotiate what you work, number five, right? Jay-Z knew his value, um, and he wasn't afraid to ask for a groundbreaking deal. Some people, you know, want to want to want to wait and be the first to be second, but he was like, nah, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm gonna make history. Um, and so this deal set a new standard um in the music industry. Uh, it showed artists that they could think like entrepreneurs, not just performers, right? And 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 when you fast forward um to today, you know, today we see artists like uh Kanye West, Rihanna, um, Drake, right? You know, his wife Beyonce, you know, following similar paths, you know, building uh businesses that are beyond their music. And so uh, you know, salute uh to Jay-Z uh for being a pioneer um in that space. Um, and so what's uh our takeaway for today as we wrap up? Whether you are an aspiring artist. Um, or just building your career, you always, always, always got to think about how you can diversify your income streams. Don't just focus um, on one aspect of your skill set. You got to you gotta build a brand, right? You got to build a brand. Um, you have to uh, retain ownership, right? Retain ownership of your work whenever possible and always uh, you know, be thinking about the long game, right? You could, you, you know, you could think about today. You definitely want to think about today too, but ultimately it's about the long game. Um, and remember, you know, you know, Jay-Z uh, said it best. I'm not a businessman. Finish the rest. I'm a businessman. Let me handle my business. All right, bet. Um, that's the mindset that turns artists into moguls. All right, y'all. And so um, let me give you some more takeaways uh, from earlier. Um, you know, whether you're, you know, T-Pain, right, <laughs> uh, making bank from gaming, uh, whether, you know, you know, Disney uh, finally profiting from uh, streaming or a regular investor uh, watching the market roller coaster. Uh, that the business world, you got to remember that the business world is always, always evolving, right? You got to, you got to, you got to stay, you got to make sure, right, that you're adaptable. Um, you want, you always, always, always want to look for uh, strategic opportunities um, and don't, listen, I'm going to say, do not be afraid to diversify your income streams, right? Merrily, merrily eat off of streams, one stream of income is too close to close to none, right? All right, y'all. That's all that I got for you today. Throwback Thursday. Uh, remember, understanding the past can help us navigate the future. I want you to keep hustling, keep learning, and I'll catch you on the next episode of Hip Hop Anomics. Make sure you follow us on all social media platforms at. Hip Hop Anomics One on One. Uh, go to our web stop, website, Hip Hop Anomics One on One dot com. Uh, me and I am Ash Cash. Make sure you visit me, I am Ash Cash dot com. Follow me on all social media platform at I am Ash Cash. Uh, and also like, subscribe, share, comment, tell a friend to tell a friend, and I'll see you next time. All right, peace and blessings. Yeah.